dynamic input by default dynamic it is is on so AutoCAD has dynamic input by default so right out of the box it will work that way and it's a very effective way to enter coordinates in uh, so another way we can turn it on and off is by pressing F12 so for example when I go to uh, pick a point my dynamic input is right on you can see that next to my cross my crosshairs it says specify first point right on the screen if I were to hit F12 um, it's gone now it's on the command line so when it's turned off so on the command line is where you get your point entry methods so I'll hit F12 again and I'll turn it back on another way better than memorizing F12 is to have it dynamic input on your status bar your status bar is down here at the bottom we can customize our status bar by going to the right side of it going to customization we click on that and then we have dynamic input we turn that on so when dynamic input is on then it will show up in our status bar so here I have dynamic input it's turned on if I click on it it's turned off anything on the status bar that is blue is on anything that's gray or whitish is off and so I'll turn it on and you can see then when it's on I have the dynamic input on the screen meaning the values I'm entering and the information of the prompt is on the screen and when I come down and I turn it off that information is read down on the command line so I recommend that you keep it on for most if not all procedures uh, in AutoCAD dynamic input is a very uh, effective way to entering our coordinates.